Hey guys, tuning into Paul's Maths Labs today, and today we're going to be looking at division using the boss stop method with no remainders. Okay, so without further ado, let's get straight onto it because I know that's what you guys want to look at. Woo! Okay, now don't be scared, guys, when, when doing division, it really isn't that bad, it really isn't that hard. Um, let's start. Okay, so this one, the reason why I've done this, why I've done two, 246 over 2 and 246 divided by 2 is because I just wanted you guys to know that they are the same thing they are the same thing so this over basically means div divide okay so it means the same thing as what's below okay so anyway let's start let's do this so we've got 2 and 2 4 6 so first thing we do is how many 2's go into 2 1 remainder nothing then how many 2's go into Four, two, and how many twos go into six? Well, three. Okay, remaining nothing, and that is our answer. Okay, one hundred and twenty-three. Lovely. Now let's jump onto the next one here. Let me just put a line there. Put a line there. Put a line there as well. Okay, now we've got four and forty-eight. So how many fours go into four? One, remainder what? Remainder zero, but you don't really have to put it there. Then how many fours go into eight? Two, remainder nothing. So that is our answer. Our answer is 12, okay? Now next one here, six, nine divided by three. So we've got three and we've got 69. How many threes go into six? Two. How many threes go into nine? Three, remainder nothing. Okay, now let's move on to the last one. So we've got 545 divided by 5. Okay. How many 5s go into 5? 1. Remainder what? Nothing. How many 5s go into 4? Oh, well, we can't really do that, okay? So how many 5s go into 4? Oh, well, this is 0. Okay. Remainder what? Remainder the 4. Actually, this one does have remainders in it. Well, never mind. It doesn't matter. Okay, how many fives go into now? Forty-five. Uh, well, I'm not too sure. It is actually nine. Lovely. Remainder what? Remainder zero. Okay. So that is our answer. Our answer is one hundred and nine. So five hundred and forty-five divided by five gives us one hundred and nine. Okay, guys. So guys, that is division using the boss stop methods. It, it was it was meant to be with no remainders, but obviously the last one had a remainder in it. And I will be doing another video um, with um, questions similar to the last one. Okay. Well, I hope you guys understood that. As you saw, it wasn't too hard. It was pretty much straightforward. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for tuning to Pause Math Labs, and I'll see you guys later.